and we were healed. It's happened already. You only need to believe it and it becomes a reality in your life. Y'all ain't hear what I'm saying. You, you don't, you're not looking for this. I believe it and it becomes a reality in my life. And you know what? The devil cannot stop the person who releases his faith in the blood of Jesus. I'm telling the devil right now, we receive our healing through the blood that came from those stripes. And with the stripes that released the payment of the blood, I am healed. You got to believe that. I have to, I have, I have just <clears throat> realized that my faith is my anointing connection. What do you believe tonight? Do you believe the pain, the suffering, the sickness, and the infirmity more than you believe what happened on that cross? I'm sharing this with you tonight because all you got to do now is believe it. It's what you know that you believe. If you don't know this, it's hard to release faith for what you don't know. Uh, faith can't operate when you don't know what's going on. You got to know what's happening. It's limited when you don't have knowledge of what's happening. Now, thank God Jesus was beaten. It was not pleasurable for him. It was, it was terrible pain that Jesus had to, 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 to suffer. But as he was shedding his life's blood through those stripes, he was paying the price needed for healing to become legally available to all of us. Legally, we all have a right right now to be healed. All of you have a right to go to your doctor this week and say, Doc, came to tell you I'm healed. Check it out for yourself. Now, I can reach out in faith and I can claim complete healing from any sickness, any pain, any disease, any affliction because Jesus paid the price to secure it for me. I do not have to beg God to heal me. He is my father. I simply trust him and believe what Jesus did to secure it for me. I am his child. I am not a beggar. A beggar begs and is uncertain of whether or not he will receive or be welcomed at all. But a child asks confidently that, that, and believes that he, he knows he's going to get it. Confident that in the presence of his father, he is not tolerated, but he's going to be celebrated and knowing that all that the father has is his. I'm a child of God, not a beggar. I don't have to keep going every night. Heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. I'm a child of God, not a beggar. My daughter's car wouldn't crank the, the other morning. That's my child. It was early. <laughs> but I got up, took her to work, got a car, taken in, got it fixed. Everything was wrong with it. So my girls, they just drive thinking like the air going to take care of the car. <laughs> my other daughter, she, she ran out of gas in the driveway. <laughs> That's how long she's been riding on E. She thinks E means extravagant. <laughs> but that's my child. They ain't got to come and beg me to repair something that's broken. With confidence they can come to El Shaddad. And know that he's gonna move, know that it's gonna be there. It's the same thing you got to examine how you relate to your God. Are you going to God acting like a beggar? Or are you going to God acting like a child? Because if you go acting like a child of God, then you can be healed. Jesus bore those pains for you, not just for the fun of it, but that you may enjoy complete healing. 
from the head to the toe. Don't let the enemy deceive you by telling you it's not God's will for you to be healed. He allowed his son to go through such agony for you so that you can be healed. So much his will is it that he calls Jesus to pay for it in advance so you can simply receive it today? You know, Jesus spent a tremendous amount of time in his ministry on the earth while he was alive ministering to the sick. He took time to cast out devils. He took time to raise the dead. So if healing were not the will of God, Jesus would never do it. Think about that. If healing today, you listen to some of these clowns. If healing was not the will of God, then Jesus, when he was healing people, was out of the will of God. If healing wasn't the will of God, Jesus would have never healed nobody. <laughs> if healing were not the will of God, he would have never have anointed his son Jesus with the Holy Ghost and power who went about doing good, healing all of those who were oppressed of the devil. Acts chapter 10, 38. Therefore, believe God. Believe God tonight. I'm telling you what to do. I'm telling you how to believe. I'm telling you what to believe. I'm telling you what to picture when you believe it. Ain't no way in the world I can be sick and can't get this picture out of my head of those cat of nine tails on the scourge pulling flesh off him, releasing blood to pay the price to take my sickness and my pain away from me so that today I can instantly be healed. Ain't no way. So it doesn't matter your pain or your previous experience or how long the problem has been there. It's finished. I don't think you hear what I said. It expires tonight. It is finished. I don't care how long it's been there. I don't care what the doctor tell you. It is finished. You tell him a country preacher told you tonight in Manhattan, New York. It is over expiration day. Done. Satanara or a bra. Bye bye. Get out of here. And do not wait until you see before you believe. Believe God. Turn to people and tell them, believe God. Take the first step, man. Step into God's healing and liberty. And as you step out in faith, God will confirm his word. Cataracts are being healed right now. Somebody had planned surgery, but I don't know. You ain't got to pay that money now. Cataracts are being healed right now. In the name. Somebody's back on the right side, right here in that little disc area. God's healing that thing right now. You're sitting here listening to the word, and that thing is being healed. Move it around. You're, you're being healed right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody that's been suffering with lupus, God is setting you free of that right now in the name of Jesus, and your testimony will be, I believed it, and in that moment, God took it away. Because by his stripes, I can't get the blood out of my head, the blood coming out the stripes, the blood paying the price so I can be healed. Hmm. Your, your, your healing's already paid for. I, I said your healing's already paid for. You ain't hear me. I said your healing's already paid for. What do you do when you find out something's already paid for? You take it. You go for it. Just believe God's word. Step out in faith and you'll see the glory of God. John 11 and verse 40 says this. John 11 verse 40. Jesus saith unto her, said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. He said, if you just wouldn't believe it, then you'll see the glory of God.
Matthew, the inspired writer of the gospel. <laughs> he said that healing, the healing ministry of Jesus is a fulfillment of Isaiah's prophecy. In Matthew chapter 8, I'll read uh, this emphasis. He said, when, when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. He cast out, I need you to go there. Well, I, I want to read in this version, but go to Matthew 8, 16, and I, I, you, you still can follow. I, I heard about some interview that some preachers gave me. They had their face covered up and they had their mouth muffled so nobody could tell who they were. And, and what they were saying was, I'm preaching out of a Bible that I don't believe. But I'm afraid to let people know it's me because I don't want to lose my job. Isn't that sad? And, and there, there's prophesied about a great apostasy, a great falling away. Isn't that sad? Guy preaching something he don't believe, but he don't want to lose his